Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a basic workstation for painting and oils from observation. There are of course many ways to set up a studio space. Uh, I really want to emphasize that uh, in the beginning you might want to keep uh, things pretty simple. You don't have to have the perfect studio. In fact, if you wait until you have your absolute dream studio, you might never get started at all. So <laughs> what is important it, uh, is that you have a dedicated space to work in. If you don't have a studio room as such, you could find an area of your home, like um, a corner of the living room, for example, where you can set up your, your easel and paints. It's great if you don't have to keep clearing it away every time you've been working. Your easel does not have to be as humongous as this one. Any size will do to start with. You should face the easel and canvas, but be flexible enough to easily gaze at the still life. I like to use an office chair, but any chair will do. You don't want to move your body too much back and forth when you are measuring, because then your perspective will be off. Lighting should be above and behind you. I use a mix of warm and cool light bulbs. Natural northern light is the absolute best. Woo! But hey, it is not always possible to have that. In fact, it's quite rare to find. Right now, I'm actually working out of my garage with hardly any natural light. Oil paints. You don't uh, have to have a gazillion different colors. Mine have been accumulated over many years. Glass palettes are easiest to clean. You can use a piece of glass from a cheap frame and tape the sharp edges. I used to use a wood palette because I guess I thought it looked good. It was sort of romantic, but uh, it really was a pain to clean off after use. Any palette is fine. Small medium cups for your painting medium. And there's a, a steel container for some cleaning uh, liquid like low odor mineral spirit for cleaning the brushes in between while you're painting. Brushes, hard bristles and soft ones. So there's t-shirt rags, paper towel, a glass scraper to clean dry oil paint off the palette. This glass jar over here is uh, called a silicoil. It's the brand name. It has a metal spiral inside the glass to keep the paint residue at the bottom. It contains a cleaning agent for the final brush cleaning. Um, you can use a jam jar instead. There's a magnifier or a visor, which is great for doing detail work. That is if you are half blind like I am. Thank you for watching this video. I will be posting more videos about classical drawing and painting and studio tips. If you are interested in private lessons, please check my teaching website below as well as links to some recommendations for materials and easels. Thank you. Bye-bye.